and you can see it's no witness mark of that being done up tight. That is um, a monumental mistake. Well, as you know, I love these old Maseratis, and I've been getting this one ready for the Spanish trip, which I think I mentioned before. But along with getting this one ready, there's been other cars about to get ready, like this one. See what goes into prepping them. So this isn't my usual thing, this modern stuff, and this one needed a cam belt, or there was fears over the cam belt because it's been quite a long time since it was last done. No one was very interested in doing it, so I had to step up and do it which I have done, so, or I'm in the process of doing rather. But what was telling about this is this usual thing of, of, of what other people have been doing to these cars. Now, yeah, when I say it's a modern car, it is actually quite old, isn't it, really? It's getting on a bit now. So it's had work done and, you know, that was it. So yeah, we got a cam belt, took it apart, went to do it, and we found the water pump's worn, you know, wearing the bearings, so that's gonna need a water pump. But what was telling was the cam belt adjuster. Whoever was in there last and fitted it, or did the job or whatever they were doing, they left it loose. So it's a strange thing. I'm not quite sure what was going on there. Now we'll have a look in detail at, at that in a minute. I'm not entirely sure it would have fallen out because I think that the timing cover, the plastic cover would have stopped the bolt winding itself all the way out until it dropped out. But I think that's the only thing that stopped it falling off. And of course, if that fell off, you'd lose your belt tension. Then, of course, the engine would go out of time and you bounce the valves. And then that would be very expensive. Or worse, if you, you know, drop a valve and wreck a piston as well. So, yeah, anything could have happened. The guy was right. It wanted doing and it wanted looking at. And I'm looking at it, I'm doing it. Let's have a look inside properly at it under, a bit closer and see what's going on. Right, so that's our crankshaft pulley. So you can see I've marked that. And then we've got our camshafts are up here and I've marked them. I've done two marks on them just to be doubly sure. And then you see I've locked it in place with these, with these pliers. And then I've used this proper timing belt tool or, or, or holding tool this side, which was, is the same tool we were using on the 308 or rather from the same kit. But I've only got one of these, which is why I've got it on this side and I didn't use it on the other side. But with this, I was able to put these pliers through and then put some metal in here to grab onto this web. So I've got that held nice and you know, in place. So that works well. So yeah, it looks a bit iffy, doesn't it? Using a pair of mole grits, but it actually works. Um, then it's more about you know, what you need to do. So water pump goes in here and I've taken that out. I've got a new water pump to install. But if we get into this tensioner thing that I was on about, so the tensioner is on these. What, what, what pushes the tensioner out is this ram in here. So we've got a ram piece in here, and this is a hydraulic one. So, so what you do with these is you have to squeeze them together very carefully in the vise, and then you can put the pin in it. And then you install it and you pull the pin out. Uh, you can use a drill bit, but when they're these really tiny ones like this, they, they, you know, a small drill bit, they're quite brittle, it might break off. But the slightly bigger ones than this, you have a bigger hole on some of them, you can use a drill bit in. But on these I use this. This come from probably when I was doing a Toyota or something, you know, when I ran the normal garage back in the day. And you save them. So when you buy a new one of these, which you'd get in a lot of kits, you'd get one of these pins and then you know, save it and use it when you, you know, want to reuse one of these, which you can use, reuse these as long as you're careful. But yeah, what you have to do is you have to put it in a vise and clamp it up until the, until the little holes line up and then you can install this. But if you push it too hard, you, you can mess them up. So you have, to, you have to clamp them up very carefully. So that's that bit. And then of course what that does is that would then go onto, that ram then goes onto that bit there which will push this tensioner out to tension the, the belt. And that, in, that actuates through this, so if it sort of hinges on there, then that runs on the belt. But when I come to undo this, that was loose, that bolt was loose. And I was thinking, well, that's a bit odd, isn't it? And then you took it off and have a look, and you can see here, you can see all the sort of dirt and corrosion in here around this bit. 
and you can see it's no witness marker that being done up tight. Then that bolts onto here, this part. And if we get a good close-up shot of that, if I get the light in there, right in there so we can see, you can see the dirt, the rhino dirt. So again, you can see where it wasn't done up. But yeah, there's, there's a plastic cover on top of here. So maybe that would have stopped it coming undone. I don't know. But, you know, that isn't good, is it? That is um, a monumental mistake. But uh, of interest, it was done, I think it was eight years ago this was done, at a Ferrari main dealer, a garage. Um, but mileage-wise, it actually hasn't done a huge mileage. I think it's maybe 20,000 miles. So quite how that hasn't managed to fall out in that time, I don't know. But as I say, my theory is perhaps, perhaps it was trying to unwind and the, um, and, uh, yeah, and, and the cover stopped it falling off. But who knows? But there was other things I found, like some of the cover bolts weren't done up properly. So a bit of a, bit of a worry what was going on there. So, um, you know, I don't like to run down other people's work. Um, but yeah, that wasn't any good, was it? So let's have a quick look at the water pump. The, the belt runs on the back of this, but you'll hear this is quite harsh when I spin it. And also, if you tap it, uh, it jars a bit. But also, if I get hold of it and rock it, see how much movement there is in it? So the bearings are starting to collapse. So if I turn it around so you can see the other side of it, you can see what it does. So you have an impeller there, and that's what drives the water around. Now, this is plastic. Now, I used to get a thing on these where these used to drop off on um, Audis and stuff like that. It was quite a common thing, they'd, they'd fall off. But anyway, let's have a look and we'll see how much play there is, you see? So that's why we're putting a water pump on it. Now we'll go and have a quick look at the new pump. We've got some bits here, haven't we? So, what we got? There's our pump. So there's our new water pump. There's the impeller, it's protected by some, you know, cardboard thing, and we've got a new gasket. Okay, so we've got one little tensioner bearing there. Now that will be for the auxiliary belt, the new auxiliary belt. So that's the idler bearing. So this isn't the tensioner, this is the idler, but yeah, we've got a new bearing for that, but we'll have to press that in. So that's that bit. Then this should be a new tensioner. Ah, right, no, okay, so that obviously is one of those. So that's the idler. That's our tensioner, isn't it? I've got to take that out and replace that bearing in there. But that's all right, I can do that, I'm sure. So it looks like that comes off there. Then that will push out of there somehow, won't it? And then I'll have to fit that. Anyway, that's the job for for, um, I'd say that's a job for tomorrow, but that might be a job for tonight. So this car, so we're, we're what are we, on Friday night, aren't we? So the guy that owns this is coming over from Australia and he's going to do the rally, Maserati rally in Spain, and he leaves Tuesday for that. So it's Friday night and he's here in the UK and he'll be wanting to pick it up. <laughs> and I've got to put it back together. And it leaves for Spain on Tuesday. That's when he leaves. So there you go. Nothing like keeping things a bit tight, is there? So I guess, um, I better say goodnight, because you better go, and I better get on with this. <laughs> so, goodnight, I'll see you later.